students yesterday we have done uh, how to solve the system of equations so let us do some more questions based on it this is 11th question we have to solve this system of equations so first of all we have to write them in the form ax equal to b where a is the coefficient matrix this is a the coefficient matrix x is the variable matrix in the form of a column and b is this constant matrix 1 3 by 2 and 9 so first of all we have to find the determinant a determinant a is expanded by the first row we get 2 multiplied by 10 plus 3 dekhiye ye first row first column eliminate karenge then minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 minus of minus 3 means 10 plus 3 ho gaya then minus 1 alternate sign chalega plus minus plus to minus 1 then we have to multiply 1 with minus 5 and then 0 with minus 4 1 so it becomes minus 5 minus 0 Plus one, three minus zero. So determinant A is thirty-four, which is not equal to zero. So it means its inverse exists. So we can find x, that is x is equal to A inverse B, that is, and A inverse is adjoint A divided by determinant A. So now we have to find adjoint A, and adjoint A is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So we will find the cofactor of each element a11 is for finding a11 you have to uh, leave the first row first column and find the determinant of the remaining elements similarly for finding the cofactor of second element a12 we put minus sign because some of the suffixes here is odd and find the determinant of the remaining elements after leaving second column and first row so it becomes minus 5 minus 0 and then it becomes plus 5 similarly we will find the cofactors of all the elements then adjoint is the transpose of this cofactor matrix That is thirteen five three eight minus ten six one three minus five. Then x will be equal to this adjoint A multiplied by B divided by determinant A, which is thirty four. Now multiply these two matrices. This is of three by three order. This is of three by one order. So the resultant matrix will be of order three by one. Multiply first row. With these elements, we get thirteen plus eight multiplied by three by two plus one multiplied by nine. So similarly, we will get the second element by multiplying second row with these elements, and the third element by multiplying third row with these elements, and divide um, this result by thirty-four. We get one half and minus three by two. So Um, by the equality concept of matrices equate the corresponding elements we get x equal to 1 y is equal to half and z is equal to minus 3 by 2 let us take one more um, question here again we will represent first it back in the form a x equal to b so it becomes Two, three, three, one, minus two, one. Coefficient matrix three minus one minus two, and then variable matrix x, y, z equal to constant matrix. So it is of the form a x equal to b. So we can first find the determinant a by expanding it along the first row. When you expand it along the first row, you will get two multiplied by leave this first row, first column. 
find the determinant of these remaining elements we will get 4 minus of minus 1 that is 4 plus 5 so 4 plus 1 so it becomes 2 multiplied by 5 then minus 3 multiplied by minus 5 plus 3 multiplied by 5 so the this determinant is 40 which is not equal to 0 means the matrix A is non-singular so its inverse will exist. So we can find x using x equal to A inverse B. Again we will find adjoint A, find the cofactors of all the elements. Cofactor of this two, first element will be equal to A11 is equal to plus. Leave these rows first row first column find the determinant of this remaining part it becomes 4 minus of minus 1 that is 4 plus 1 5 then determine uh, cofactor of second element means a12 is leave first row second column find the determinant of remaining elements so 1 1 3 minus 2 it becomes minus 2 minus 3 so a12 is 5 similarly we can find the cofactors of each element. Then uh, adjoint A is transpose of cofactor matrix. So these are the cofactors of each element. So the, its transpose will be 5, 5, 5. Rows and columns they are interchanged. So 3 minus 13, 11, 9, 1, and minus 7. Then x is equal to 1 by determinant A which is 40. This is adjoint A multiplied by the matrix B. So we get 1 by 40 of 40, 80 and minus 40. So divide each term by 40. We get 1, 2, minus 1. So on comparing the two matrices, we get x equal to 1, y is equal to 2, z equal to minus 1. That's all for today. Thank you.